Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, we are going to read on our hot cowboy. We're going to use the Slavic Legends Tarot because, and we are going to learn a little bit more about our hottie. I don't even know his name. I still haven't found it, but I am curious though about what's going on in his world. And it's getting hot in here. Excuse me. Unless the temperature's fine. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's, oh well, Four of Swords. Hey, Hattie, um, oh, should probably take my watch off. It's clanking on the table. So the card that jumped is the Four of Swords in reverse. Underlying energy, Seven of Wands. Does this look like anyone? Mm, can you see it? Anyone of the Odin? All right, so our hottie is probably a little stubborn. Might be a Leo energy. Here, seven of wands. Got that yesterday, that's stealing. Well, five is too, but we have the world, that's the ending. That's like, His world as he knows it is ending. But he works hard, he's a hard worker. He's someone you'd want, like, I don't know what he does for work. He looks like manual labor, like a construction worker or something. And you'd want him on your team or be the foreman or something because he's like, he works hard. And we got this card when he went back to Dylan's house. He works hard for his money. We have the page of wands. Page of Wands in reverse. She's like hopeless. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. His world is really closing in. There's something we don't know about him. Nine of Cups in reverse. He's like drained, emotional. He's like, he's self-destructive. Where he's the happiest is at work. Whatever he does, he does something with his hands and he loves it. 
It's like his happy place. It's the only place that he's looking happy. You have the moon in reverse. This is like your, your secrets are coming out. So, so, what don't we know yet, Mr. Hottie Pants? He'd rather like, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the government. The Hierophant also came out. This is the US government's gonna be the hero. Unbelievable. We have the moon in reverse, secrets are coming out, and then we have the Hierophant. What's the card? The page of coins in reverse. He's gotten three pages. I wonder if he's a big brother. You don't want to date him, ladies. He doesn't like commitment. And he's super emotional. If he's not gaslighting you, he's like, literally, unless you're working with him, unless you're like what he can work on. Judgment. So we have the Seven of Wands upright. So, okay. The first card that we got that jumped was the Four of Swords in reverse. That's like an on, that's not a foundation. Fours are foundation. Swords are words. So that's like stubborn. It's like doing it my way. Then we got the Seven of Wands. He's like the kind of guy you'd call literally if you like need to move a bed, he'd come help you. But he has to like stop being a people pleaser. Then we got the world. Game over. This isn't like the wheel of fortune when you can spin the wheel and see where you turn up. The world is done. Game over. Thanks for coming. You've completed your trip on this lifetime. Then he put himself in his happy place. That's at work with his hands, works with his hands and he loves it. And we got the page of wands in reverse. Hopeless. It's like overburdened with stress. Then we have the knight of cups and the nine of cups in reverse. That's like emotional. Cups are empty, losing everything. This would be like, wait a second. Is Daddy Warbucks his uncle? Wait a second, I gotta write this down. I think Daddy Warbucks is related somehow. And it couldn't, it might not be like blood related. It might be like, so what we have to do is figure out Daddy Warbucks and Hot Cowboy. Where's their connection? I'm gonna leave it box. Daddy Warbucks and the Hot Cowboy are related somehow. And it might not be like related, like Pinky Promise Blood. Uh, I wonder if it's a soul. Well, hold on. I mean, this kid. Did. He's drinking from the same well that everyone else is, except he does like to work hard. That's the only thing that makes him different than BK, Dylan, Quinn, Daddy Warbucks is this is the only one that likes to work. And he's a loyal friend, like you can count on him. He says yes to it's like detrimental to his mental health. He's also living like flashy, showy. This is the generational card in reverse. So it's, he doesn't have it. It's like Alex Murdoch. 
if someone told me that Alex Murdoch was somehow related to this for some reason, I'd believe you like, of course he is. Are all of this knights in reverse? What's the other knight? We have the knight of cups, knight of swords. So knight of swords is like, be silent. See, ex-military. He has the personality of like a soldier, like very disciplined, very A-type, like very much. He doesn't like things deviating off his regular schedule. He likes to just like live his life. He's a really good, he's a good friend. You can definitely count on him. He knows when to be silent. <laughs> He's living above his means, so like, it's like Daddy Warbucks was too. The Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like heartbreak. Five of Swords in Reverse. My kitty agrees. It's not my kitty. He's a house pet, but the Five of Swords is a bully. Mm -hmm. It's not like the kind of bully that like bullies and gets off on it. It's like just a fuck you bully. Like he just is bigger and smarter and stronger than you, so just fuck off. Kind of a bully. Like I'm not feeling like the narcissistic psychopath part. And he has judgment, so he goes inside. He realizes that he's gonna. At least he's like, there's a semblance of light here. His human emotions. That's what separates him from the other four so far. Okay, we just got the Ten of Swords. So death on the tarot doesn't mean death. But there are other cards that do, and Ten of Swords is one of them. It's not surrounded by other cards. Does anyone know what his mental health is like? Like, is he mentally sound? And I don't mean like... Like, I don't, know, I don't know anything about him. I don't know. These are almost like... They're still in. All right, I'm just gonna say this. If he was my friend and I was doing this reading on him, these are cards that are very serious cards. These are like such despair and overwhelm. These are serious, like, um, I don't even, I, can we say the word suicide? This, these are the cards that you would get. Five of swords in reverse, judgment, 10 of swords, seven of swords in reverse. These are the kinds of cards that you, you need to start asking some hard questions. If you were doing this tarot reading or if this was my friend, this is when stuff stops being fun and starts getting really real. Because it's not necessarily that he even knows that he's checked out and he's done with this shit. Like, this is a subconscious that we're talking to. Somehow Dylan made it on here. Hi, Dylan. Because Quinn's 
flaky mom can't be on here. Well, actually, maybe they're related. But if anyone knows who this hot cowboy is and you're friends with him, I would definitely check on him. I mean, he's going to, I don't think that he realizes that he's like really lost. There's no hope here. The only thing that he has hope about is working. It's the only card that shows real hope. So I don't know if he's like lost his job or he's not doing the job with his hands. He's like very talented. He's like a wood or something. He does something with his hands. But if, like I said, if this was my friend or, or a client reading like a real reading that I was getting paid to do, this would be like, these are no joke cards. It's like shit just got really real. Ace of Swords. This is your contract. Does anyone know what this kid's name is? I want to say his name right now. Did you make a contract? Because we have the Hierophant. We have the Moon. Like... Could you... Oh, man. You made a contract and justice is coming. And you know it. I have no idea where it is in your life, if you know about this yet, but you know it subconsciously that this is coming. Like shit is about to hit the serious fan in your world. And you're gonna have to answer to yourself too. Not only are you gonna have to answer the karmic loss of the universe, you're going to have to answer to yourself. And it doesn't look like it was worth it. The magician in reverse. You got sold out. You're like a ride or die. You're the kind of person that would like keep your secrets till, till you die. That's like doesn't even give you. You don't even really like to talk much, it looks like. But someone sold you out. They're acting like a friend and they're not. So which one of your friends is actually working with the feds? Because they all um, picked up a... <laughs> they've picked up a couple of charges and now they are working with the feds. Well, I happen to know two of them. I don't know if you're friends or not, but there's a connection somewhere there and somebody's turning. I don't know if they've done it yet, but as of right now, your subconscious knows that it's coming or it's happened. Two more. Chariot, you're going to try to get out of here. Last card. The hanged man in reverse. So you were waiting to see how the cookie cum crumbled. And you're out of here. But it might be too late. All I can tell you is Daddy Warbuck's energies on these cards, Dylan's energies on these cards, and you got sold out. And your life, as you know, it's about to end. The only thing that makes you happy is work. You're a good friend and you're super loyal. But the chariot can be hypothetical. You're also showing, like, if I was your friend or you were paying for this, we'd have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart right now. But, um, kind of had enough of this rodeo and you're done. And we got that before you got sold out. Just wish I knew someone had caught a case and was working with both sides of this story. 
just can't put my finger on it. I don't know what your connection is to them, but I don't know what they're like in real life, but I mean, your actions of your past dictate your future and they sold out. So, hot cowboy, I'll say a little prayer for you tonight. Even though we believe in very largely different things. I don't know. This is like real deal shit. You did get the Hierophant, that's the government, we know that. We got the Ace of Swords, that's a contract. And we have the moon and all. Someone is gonna, it's like, what I, I'm seeing is like, it's almost like a wine glass full of marbles and someone tips the wine glass, but it doesn't break it and just spills all the marbles out. And that was your life as you knew it. All right, hot cowboy. Say a little prayer for you tonight to whatever you believe in. Or if you know him, I would give him a call. If you're his friend or something, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he'll talk to you, but. These are real deal cards. These are not like joke. So, I don't know what to say. Love you, kiddo. I do, you're cute. Love you. All right, um, we're gonna call it a day on Hottie Patati. I'm gonna write it down actually that Daddy Warbucks is connected to Hot Cowboy. The government's connected to the Hot Cowboy. Dylan is connected to the Hot Cowboy, which we knew yesterday, she went, he went into the house. The Hot Cowboy made a deal it doesn't say who with who, but justice is coming and the moon's in reverse. Like your secrets are coming out. You're also, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a lawyer or a shrink. Please do your own research. Um, but the cards that I'm seeing are also um, indications of, and this is not Jeffrey Epstein suicided. This is like legit. So if anyone knows the hot cowboy, I'd, let, I'd reach out to him if I were you. Just say hi. He's a good friend. He's loyal. Like I said, we might have some differing views on everything. But he still wanted to put on his meat suit and give it a try. So, all right, cowboy. Love ya. Ooh, that's really weird to say. Um, but... I don't know. If anyone's friends with him, reach out to him, please. Uh, that's all I can say. All right. I'm going to end this. 